Hello everyone, and as you can tell, it's the end of the month, and that calls for a reading wrap up. <laughs> Yay. Now, oh, that just moved. I need to stop leaning against that. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I read two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay, so this month I have read technically 11 books. One of them I am still finishing. I was trying to finish before I needed to film this, but I'm filming it now, but I'll finish it by tonight. So I read 11 books this month, which is pretty good, but also, like, I did a lot this month. I went to a concert, I went on spring break, um, I went up to, like, my friends almost, I've been busy almost every single weekend this month, so... I'm surprised that I read this much, honestly, which is weird because normally when I go on vacation and stuff, I never read, never have time, stuff like that. But I actually read an entire book while I was on spring break. So I'm gonna give me a round of applause. Never mind, don't give me a round of applause. I just dropped. Give me a minute, okay? Let me. F okay, I'm back. I did, in fact, drop my Sonic drink. <laughs> love sonic if you want to know what this is it is a root 44 diet coke with cherry flavoring it's basically just a cherry diet coke but that's okay let me live my life in peace okay so let's just start off with the first book that i read this month give me a second the first book i actually think i start like started reading this I may have mentioned this in my reading wrap up last month, but I think I started reading this in February. But it's the fake mate. Um, Mackenzie and Noah. Okay, Mackenzie and Noah. That's who this book is about. Can I remember there for a minute? Um, I rated this four stars. Thinking back, I think it's more like three stars. I'm going to say I'm going to put three stars now, looking back on it, because there was plot, but there wasn't really plot. It's like, like that much is plot, and then this is just like steam. It's really more like that, but you know, like once there's a certain thing that happens and then the rest of it's just them fucking. So, um, but basically, like, it's an arranged marriage, or not arranged marriage, that's not what this is. They're fake dating. Um, it's Omegaverse, I'm pretty sure, I think, I could be wrong, don't quote me on that, but I think it's Omegaverse. Um, but basically, Noah needs, um, a, like, needs Mackenzie to be his fake mate um because he's an alpha let me real because he's an alpha it's on the back of the book I'm not spoiling anything it's on the back of the book he's an alpha and apparently like whenever an alpha has a mate they're like calmer I don't really know it's not really touched I mean it is but it's not but other than that, I don't really remember much. Um, yeah. Oh, when, the only thing I really remember is she would she would eat Twix, but she, she would like what, if you know about the Twix thing. That is so weird to me. Like, all right, hold on. Let's see. What is she? She would take off like. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't remember. That was something. When I read that, I was like, then just don't eat the... Okay. Weird. Next book I read was Flawless. I read Flawless. I started reading the Chestnut Spring series. So, I read Flawless. I gave this... I gave it... 
I don't remember. I gave it 3.5. Let's see. Why would I give it 3? Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so I gave it 3.5. It was a good book. I really did love it. And I enjoyed it reading it, but I think it was, it definitely did. This is about, um, Summer and Rhett? Rhett, I think? I'm very bad at pronouncing names, so. Don't come for me if I said that wrong. But anyways, he's a bull rider, and she's, like, there to, like, help him clean up his act or keep him aligned. It's like, yeah, that's basically what she's there for. Um, cause he, he, what is, ah, is it on the back of the book? Anyway, it's not, I don't think, but he gets in this like scandal thing and he needs someone to like, um, I think it's his agent. Yeah. Um, he, his agent is like, you can't be trusted apparently, um, to shut your mouth. Um, so we're gonna put you with my daughter Summer and she's gonna keep you in line. So that's basically what this book is about. Summer love her so much. I aspire to be her. I aspire to be every woman in the Chestnut Spring series. I want to be all of them. But flawless. Loved it. Next book had to continue. Whoa. Can we hi? Can we focus? Thank you. Next, I had to continue with the Chestnut Spring series. I read Heartless. Gave this book five stars. Didn't even have to look down. This is a five star book read. Because, like, I don't even like, it's nanny. Oh my God, it's just like, Like, just read this book. Like, that's all I gotta say. Please read this book. I don't even... I aspire to be her. Oh my god. I aspire to be Willa. I'm pretty sure... I could be saying that wrong. Don't come for me. I probably am. I'm very bad at names. But... <sighs> this woman is everything I could, like, she's just everything. I want to be her. Like, give me the confidence to be you, please. Cade. Oh my god. Oh my god. Just, what was? Luke, Luke. I don't know. But basically, um, She's Luke's, um, nanny, and she's also Summer's best friend, and that's how, like, you know, but, yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend this book, 5 star read, love it. Then, of course, I had to continue, I read Powerless, I gave this one 4 stars. This was about Jasper and Salone, I loved them, they were amazing, they were frustrating at times, but... I still loved them as a couple. They were so cute. Um, basically, it's best friends um, to lovers. So, if you like best friends to lovers, definitely read those. But, I mean, that's really it. There, that's She's, like, secretly and being in love with him her whole life, you know, because every best friends to lovers is. So, yeah. And they're like dealing with each other's past and you know, it's like every other every other book. Every other friends to lovers book. But that's okay. It was good. Then of course, gotta keep going. Reckless. Rated this one three four stars. Four stars? Four stars. Oh my god, Reckless. Theo and Winner. Oh my god. Theo. Batman love this man. Oh, there's something on the back of my book. Anyways, it is a like, if you don't like the pregnancy trope, don't read the book. If that's like a trigger for you, if you just absolutely can't stand it, because that's the whole point. They have like a one night stand, she gets pregnant, you know, la 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 la, you know. But yeah, they're trying to figure that whole thing out. Um, so that's the entire 
story. But Theo, oh my god. Where can I get one? Where can I, where can I get one? I need one in my life. And then lastly, but not least, I read Hopeless. And I saw a lot of people did not like this book. I'm sorry, I give this a five stars. <laughs> Bo? Oh my god. Bo. Bo. That man. <sighs> so, Bo and Bailey is who this book about. It is a, like, it's not even arranged in marriage. Um, he's asking her to be her his fiance so they don't actually get married um but it's like fake fiance um because he's like wants to get his family yeah he wants to get his family off his back and she wants the town to look at her better because they live in like a small town chestnut springs but they live in a small town and they all like the entire town looks at her like she's just like dirt on the ground like they do not like her because of her family so he says well we let's get engaged and that way you be promised my last name because they're like royalty in that town but yeah hopeless definitely would recommend love this book um it does look at the trigger warnings um it does have a lot of triggers in it that are talked about so i think Yes, it has a reader's note for trigger warning, so definitely look at that before you read it. So I did read the entire Chestnut Spring series. Aren't we so proud of me? I'm proud of myself. Thank you. Ow. Okay, and then I read The Gale. Um, I rated this 4.5 stars. Absolutely love this book. It's definitely... um really good really good um fantasy romanticy um so basically the book is about josephine it follows her she is a princess soon to be queen um but she gets kidnapped um while she's let me make sure she gets kidnapped during a riot um to they don't really know it's her so like she's like hidden her identity from um the people who took her and she finds herself in this palace and she's like where am i um she's in the gale mm -hmm. and so she meets the prince dax and yeah so she basically she has to be a servant and live her life being a servant and yeah they start falling for each other so that's basically what this book's about the gal i'm ready for the book, second book i need to know what happens but and also just like look how cute my annotate you don't even think you can see him but like i thought they were cute i <sighs> and then next i read brutal prince i read this while i was on vacation Yes, I did read a dark romance on vacation. And? So I read, read Brutal Prince. Um, I give this 3.5. I mean, it's just like a, I mean, I read this pretty fast. Um, so this book followed, follow, whoa. This book follows Ida and Colum? Colum? Yeah. It is a dark romance. If you did not hear me before, it is a dark romance. Um, so basically, it is enemies to lovers. She tries, and it's also arranged marriage. So, yeah, if you like that, you'll like this book. Um, basically, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Let me let me stop talking real quick. My favorite thing. I loved her. She tries to kill him on her wedding day. Isn't that so fun? That's not a spoiler. It's on the back of the book. Don't come for me. It's on the back of the book. Thank you. But she just tries to get out of it. Like something happens and they are like, well, we have to arrange a marriage between the two families. So since it was your problem, you two are going to have to deal with it. Pretty sure that's a spoiler, but it's really not. 
because it happens within the first like three chapters so the brutal friends and then next i don't have the physical books because i read them on my kindle let me the next i read psycho shifters and then i read um psycho fay so it is the first two books in the um cruel shifter verse is what they call it i have not rated these books because i don't know how i feel about them and I'm only on the set. I, I have started the third book. I've read two chapters and I had to put it down and I started reading another book. Um, so I'm going to come back to it probably when I finish reading this book. But I don't even like, I've never seen anyone talk about this book. And then I saw on TikTok, like the like aesthetic of the book. And I was like, I'm just going to read that because it's like a fantasy. And so, yeah, I just read it no didn't know anything about it um but yeah i don't like i would sit going blind i went in blind so it is the next day it is um and i'm editing this video and i realize there's no more footage <laughs> it stopped recording and i didn't realize because i'm that stupid apparently um so I'm just gonna talk to you right now about what I said. So, oh, hi, Millie. It's my dog. She's right here under me. Um, but as I was saying, Psycho Shifter, Psycho Fae, I would go in blind because you don't really need to know anything because it's a fantasy book and you know you're taught everything. Um, ignore the noise. She's walking around. But yeah. I haven't read it yet. I still haven't even started the book. Um, I don't really know if I am. Millie, stop. Sorry. But like I said, I don't think I'm really going to finish the book series. So. And then I did read um, The Favor after reading those. Um, I'll, this is what it looks like. I finished it last night. Um... I rated it five stars, or really 4.7, but like five stars on Goodreads. Um, love the book. It's arranged marriage, um, boss to boss and employee. It's his personal assistant. And um, he comes up to her and is like, I need you to marry me. And she's like, whoa, calm down. Why? And he's like, there's a trust fund and I need to marry to get it and she's like okay fun so yeah that's really that book um so yeah that's basically the footage that was lost short version really i hope you enjoyed today's video um if you did leave a like subscribe if you want um i'll be linking all my social medias down below in a few videos i think you might like so yeah i'll see you later bye